you see Williams have to wipe the blood away with the eye. Even so though Williams becoming, comes back, yeah. it's still pissed as keeps grinding him down. He's not stopping, he's grinding him down. And one thing I will say about Williams is he does have these spurts here and there in the midst of these rounds, but as we're starting to go along a little bit further, Pierce is having more of the better yes, moments. Exactly. And that's the, I think that's the big difference here so far. I think Williams has to get back into this fight and it's got to start in this round. If he doesn't win this round now, you could really be looking at a deficit. It's round eight right now. Round eight. It very well could be 4-3 Pierce. I think Pierce, nice left hand to start the round. I think Pierce has taken the last four rounds. And I, you know, and I, again, could differ on the cards, we don't know. But if I'm Williams, I'm coming into this round under the assumption that I may be behind in this fight and I gotta pick it up here in the eighth round. Can't keep going He's any further down. Space. He's yeah. putting his back on the ropes and allowing to Pierce to, to, to work him there. And, and this pace clearly not working for Williams, so at some point you kind of got to let it go and go for broke, and, and this may be the round to do it. As you start getting deeper into the fight, you start getting into these championship rounds, only three to go in this fight. You watch Expectation Sports, the main event of championship jackpot. Jermaine Williams in the white and black, taking on Elijah Pierce in the red and black trunks. And we're here ringside, Michael Parenti and Sucre Ray Oliveira have been bringing you the action all night. Nice combination, upstairs and back to the this body by Pierce. Digging. You might be stopping right here. They Williams is in some trouble now, there. Ray. Yeah, he he's doesn't in some answer trouble. it, the ref is gonna jump in and stop it. Uppercut by Pierce. Pierce he's still got going. An answer. Williams is in some trouble now, Ray. He's just walking down Williams. Pierce has Williams stung in the corner. Williams needs to hold. You hear the corner young hold him. He's or, or fight back, one of the two. Williams tries to let it go with a right hook, but Pierce is just landing shots. He's just walking him down. Pierce Williams with the body. He's yep. is, is attempting, though. He's attempting. But does he have anything left in, it, left in the tank? Not much. And still 90 seconds to go. Uppercut there by Pierce with the right hand. And now Pierce trying again, swinging goes. wildly. Well, halfway through this round. Still yeah. got a minute and 15 seconds left. Can he survive the rest of his game? Nice oh, left oh, hand there by God. Williams. And another, oh, another one. one. And another one. And now Williams fights back. Oh, this, this is. And now he's got this Pierce. This is Gotti Ward again. <laughs> this is Gotti Ward, but in a different way, class. Jermaine Williams showing some signs of life, just as you think it may be the beginning of the end. And now here comes Williams again. This crowd on its feet. 40 seconds to go. Now Pierce strikes back with a two punch combo. Pierce to the block. body, unbelievable round. We thought round seven could be top. It's being yes. top right now. Because William has the same thing left. Does he got more on the tank left? Does he got more on the tank? He, he does. Yes, he does. There goes Pierce now fighting back. That's it. 15 seconds They're to go in round eight. They're digging deep. They're both yeah. digging deep here. 100%. Stiff job there by Pierce. Oh, shot by Williams in the round. What a round. I love that. I love this. This is what we're doing. This is Dottie Ward 2 in the little division. I will say, I think Pierce still gets that round, however. Yes, I definitely gave Pierce that round. But you know what? It woke up a spot yes. in Williams. Yes. That if I could pull up something like that this round, I could, I could do the rest of these rounds. Here it is in the replay. You see Pitt, Pierce on, on, on the offense and Williams on, on the defense, but then he comes right back after that. And he gives his own offense. This is really the round. This is all Pierce. When the referee, it looked yeah. like the referee was going to jump in and stop. And he was about to until he came back to his own right here. And we thought Pierce may have been dead at that point. But he fights back. He starts to turn the momentum. I'm, I'm with you, Ray, on the fact that I think it may have woken up Jermaine Williams. Yes. I think he got loaded well, That's bad. what he needed. Yeah. Can, he, can he do it again this round? This is the round right here. He's going to prove it. Do I got more left in my tank to go back? Round number nine on the way. We've got two more to go in our championship main event. Michael Parenti joined by Sucre Ray Oliveira. An all-action main event here between Elijah Pierce in the red and black trunks and Tremaine Williams in the black and white. What a fight we have on our hands. 
and this could go either way right now. You still have two rounds to go. It's anybody's fight. We'll see if that flurry, that late finish to round eight, woke up Tremaine Williams and if he can get back on top and get the momentum back in his favor. Or can Elijah Pierce keep doing what he's done best over the last four or five rounds? Williams got to come forward. He can't back up. He's got to come forward with that the same thing that Pierce is doing. They get yeah, land that left, right, left hand over the top. But he's got to come forward. He can't lay on the ropes and allow Pierce to pin him there. Got to let those hands go. Don't wait. That's right hand there by Pierce. Yeah, that's what he's got to do. He's got to get his back off those ropes and put Pierce's back on the ropes. Push him back. Don't step back. Even though he, he's throwing punches, yeah. he's stepping back in defense. There he go. Got to come forward, Williams. He's got to sit down and dig. This is he where has it in him. This is where Pierce wants him, against the ropes. Yes. Done the most damage in the fight here. Williams trying to back his way up now. Two punch combo by Williams. And there comes Pierce again. Nice overhand left by Pierce. Another left hand by Pierce. Under a minute to go in round nine. And now the action is picking up. Pierce trying back to pick up forth, the pace here. Yeah. Forth. One minute left in this round. This is where he can win this round, right? Either fighter. 45 seconds. Take the round. And Pierce charging forward again with Williams against the ropes. And Williams with the body upstairs with a left hook. He, when he comes forward, when Williams comes forward, he, he looks, but he's doing it in spurts. He's going to do it the whole round, not in spurts. Final 30 seconds of round number nine. Absolute war on our hands. Left hand by Pierce, but Williams comes back with the right now. Pushes off Williams, or Pierce. Nice short right hand by Williams. Now Pierce He's fighting back. Left, but you got to get us back off the ropes. You got to turn him. Absolute flurry to beautiful, finish round number beautiful. nine. <laughs> That's a very tough round. It is a tough round, even though Pierce, I mean, Williams was beautiful. He, he was fighting in spurts, and Pierce just kept backing him up going forward. There's some replays from round number nine. Very tough round to score. And I think right now, Ray, depending on which way you have it, I think this fight is very much a one-round fight for either side. Somebody's up around, somebody's down around. I think it's that close. It's razor thin at this point to me, the margin for error for both fighters. I, I and got this it. round right now, this 10th yeah. and final round, could decide who takes away this fight. I got it 6-3 for Pierce. Mm. Um, he, even though uh, Williams had a great round, he was still backing up and allowing William, um, Pierce to dictate dictate the space and dictate what I'm going to let you punch. Here we go. 10th and final round of the championship main event. This is what it all comes down to. Final round of the night. And we'll see who can exert their will over the final three minutes and potentially take home this fight. Take home the green and gold belt. Elijah Pierce in the red and black trunks. Tremaine Williams in the white and black. Williams got to come forward, not backing up. You know, it's much better when he's coming forward. I think you the left hand yeah. by Pierce over the top. Everything you got, man. One more round. Pierce again trying to walk him down like he did in the middle rounds. Pierce trying to use that height advantage to his advantage. And when he's been at his best, that's exactly what he's done. There comes Williams playing back to the body upstairs again with the right hook. He's got to come forward. He's got to come forward and let those hands go. Not backing up. You're on your back leg when you're backing up. There's nothing on them punches when you're backing up. 
See, there he goes. He's throwing, but he's backing up, which is in retreat. Forward, there you go, William. Forward. Shoot it. Shoot it, Midget. Shoot. And again. There. 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 Turn him. If not back up, turn him. Right to the left by Jermaine Williams here, Ray. Turn him. The Piz is coming forward again and backing him up. You're right. He's got to turn him. And now here comes Pierce. Unloading with Williams against the ropes. And you're right, Williams has done his best work coming forward in this round. One minute to go in the fight. Pierce walking him down again. Trying to land that uppercut. Pierce landing to the body, trying to go back upstairs and sneak in that uppercut. We have under a minute left. This is it. These final 40 seconds could decide the fight. He's nice got right to turn. That was his chance to turn him and put him back on the rope. Get your back off the ropes. Williams spending too much time on the ropes here. Pierce trying to walk him down. Williams trying to fight his way back out over the final 25 seconds. Nice left hand now timed by Williams. And now Pierce with the overhand right, followed by the left to the body. Ten seconds to go. And now it's Williams with the right and left hand. And now Pierce with the combination. Big left by Pierce. That's what he's going to be. The final bell rings. What a fight. What a fight. What a finish. What a main event. At the end of the day, these guys are both called champions, but only one can walk out the winner. Be very interesting to see how this one is scored. Here's some action from round number 10. And you're right, when Tremaine Williams was in the center of the ring coming forward away from the ropes, he did his best work in that round. And anytime Pierce had Williams against the ropes, that's when Pierce had the decided advantage. So there are so many ebbs and flows to that final round and really throughout the entire fight. And you can really pick apart the moment, Trey, where each fighter, you know, did his best work. It was the fight that was coming forward, as you can see right here. He, he, he's backing him up. Pierce is backing him up. Williams should have just kept turning and turning him. It, it, it kept him better with his combinations. When you're backing up and on retreat, it looks like you're, you're trying to survive. I will say for certainty that I thought after maybe six rounds that this might not last long for Tremaine Williams, but he fought back big time. He definitely did. Uh, he really dug deep and showed his championship medal, if you will, and what we will find out is if it was enough in the end. Uh, you know, Pierce stacked up some pretty good rounds in the middle, and, you know, may have built himself a little bit of a lead, depending on how the judges see it. Yep. Uh, and then, of course, we don't really know some of those rounds toward the end, you know, were swing rounds, or very close rounds, the eighth and ninth round in particular. Very close rounds, very difficult rounds to score. And we know for one thing that we, it's very difficult to read the mindset of the judges and what, what styles they <laughs> <Yeah>. prefer. <laughs> you know, you and I know how we have it, or, or you know, at least how I think we I mean, have I it. I think that fight was obvious. I mean, it, it was a good fight. It was a close fight in styles and all that. Mm -hmm. But I think it's obvious. You got, the, you got one fighter coming forward and yeah. putting your back in the ropes. I mean, your back's against the ropes. I, I say that I'm winning. Both fighters in their corners, confident that they've got this decision. We don't really know yet. We're waiting for the scorecards at the moment. But a credit to both fighters, a tremendous job. This is what you want in the main event. This is the kind of outcome you want. This is the kind of fight you hope for to close out a show. And I'll tell you, the fans here tonight in attendance got a royal treat oh, from they both. they got this. Yeah, they got their money's worth on this one. It's very interesting to see, and once again, how the judges have it. So we remind you again, because Tremaine Williams did not make weight yesterday, he cannot win the belt. He can win the fight, of course. Yep. If Elijah Pierce gets the decision, he brings home the WBC Silver Super Bantamweight title for the second time in his career. The belt that he won last October before being stripped for inactivity. So, And you would think if Pierce does win this time around and gets this belt back, that he's not going to let it go a second time. I'll tell you that. Yeah, right back in that ring again. Pierce walked with two belts when he leaves with a third one. All right, we're going to send it up to Margaret Presser, who has all what we've been waiting for, the official decision.
so me. After 10 tough rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. <laughs> Judge Tom Carson scores the bout 96-94. And Judge Glenn Feldman and Judge John McKee score the bout 97-93. For your winner by unanimous decision, a new WBC Silver Super Battle Royale Champion, Alexa.